With me now is Jamie Hannum, lead snowplow operator from Southeast District for York Region. Good morning. How are you doing? Did you sleep last well, night? I did, actually, yeah. Very, very little, but I did get some sleep. Yes, very little. So, so it wasn't an all-nighter. It was, it was, but we have many different guys that come in and sort of take over. So I sort of did my part during the day, and yeah, we had guys come in and sort of take over at nighttime. Okay, so what are the conditions out there today, the day after the big one? Uh, right now on our major roads and our arterials, we're actually looking great. Uh, we've got uh, from curb to curb sort of uh, slushed off, or um, yeah, just looking great. We're, we're, we're really our guys have done really well our contractors we had, like i said we've been out for since probably i think midnight the night before and the guys have just been non-stop and our roads look fantastic so what have been some of the challenges for the snowplow uh operators out there on the roads uh yes you sort of your main challenges that we always come by it's uh just traffic out there i mean if we have room and space to do our job it makes it much easier for us so i think it's just uh just keeping people back, keeping people safe. Let your guys, let the guys do their job. Stay back from them. If you can't see them in the mirror, they can't see you. So just, you know, stay back and give them time. What about the abandoned vehicles um, from yesterday? How do you maneuver around them? Yeah, just in coordination with, uh, I guess for us, it's YRP. We just try to uh, get them towed off as soon as we possibly can if, if notes haven't been left on the vehicles. But yeah, it's, an, it's a big challenge for us. I think that's what slowed us down a little bit during the day yesterday was just cars being abandoned on the road and in the way of course we have to try and get around them somehow and sometimes that's not as easy but yeah it's 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 challenging it's very challenging how many days do you think it's going to take before everything feels normal again on the roads uh it should be probably later by the end of today i know like i said the arterial roads for the most part are looking great it's your sort of side roads your, your municipalities that have some challenges ahead but uh, we're already looking ahead for tonight because we are supposed to get some more. So uh, we're already in a clearing mode and, and trying to uh, open up sight lines and stuff like that just to make sure that it's safer for uh, the traveling public. What do you say to those folks who get angry with the, the snow plows who come by right after they have finished clearing out their driveway? The plow goes by and then they've got another mountain of snow at the end of their driveway again to deal with. Yeah, unfortunately, that comes with it. You know, there's not much we can do about that. We start from the middle and we work our way to the curb every single time. So it's 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 challenging. I do uh, you know we have to go home and, and dig ourselves out after, you know, doing a 13 hour shift in a plow truck. So we're aware of it and what it's doing. But unfortunately, it can't be helped. When was the last time you remember a snowfall like yesterday's? It's been a long time. I know we were actually just discussing that with some of my colleagues downstairs. This is probably the most we've seen in, in 15 years in York Region. Just the way how it, uh, probably not accumulation wise, but just how fast it came in and accumulated. Yeah, it was definitely challenging yesterday. Jamie Hannum, lead snowplow operator from Southeast District for York Region. Thank you so much and thanks for clearing our roads. We appreciate it. No problem. Thank you very much.